Everything Retro. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Everything Retro. It's your host, JD. Uh, I'm super excited. You know, it is the end of the month. Well, beginning of the month because you're probably watching this in February. But it is the end of the month recap video. Uh, this is all the pickups that I've gotten not in a, a subscription box um, this month. I kind of dabbled a little bit of everything this, this, this past month in January, um, including a very big shipment, um, which will be another video coming up uh, very, very soon. Uh, it just came in today. So um, let's, let, let's get started. I said I kind of went nuts. I actually started collecting for another system. I know I'm a mess, uh, <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, so first things first, let's start with my favorite, one of my favorite systems of all time. Um, and that is a Nintendo 64. I've been looking for this game for a long time. I got it in great shape and uh, I got a great deal on it. And it is a StarCraft 64. Uh, I was a big fan of this game whenever I was a kid for the uh, PC. Um, and, uh, you know, I needed it, man. I tried, as you all guys all know, I am trying to do a complete Nintendo 64 collection. Uh, so eventually I have to get it. I still have to get all like the big heavy hitters and stuff, but that's okay. Like I said, it is in great shape. Uh, and I got a great deal on it, so I couldn't beat it. It's a great addition. Um, that is the only N64 game I got this year, this month. It's pretty crazy, right? I know. I know. But trust me, I'll, I made up for it in other ways. Um, before I cover this up, though, I did get two pretty incredible books. Uh, what you see on the background, Ultimate Guide to SNES and Ultimate Guide to NES. Um, I grew up playing the Nintendo, the original NES. Um, I saw this this book and a background of someone's video on YouTube and I was like, what is this? I looked it up and I was like, I need to buy both. Um, so I bought both absolutely great table pieces. I went through them and it bring, brought back so much memories of uh, games I had as a kid. Games I'm like, oh, I still need to go out and buy this because this is awesome. Um, so it was really, really cool. A lot of fun. Uh, these books and like friends of mine come over now and they're like, holy crap, that's so cool. Um, but cool. All right, so I'm blabbering. So let's move on. Another system. I only got one game for this month. I know. It's, I'm just slacking. Um, and it's it's in okay shape, but I got a good deal on it. And that's uh, my name from Power Rangers for the Super Nintendo. Um, I, this game isn't the greatest, but uh, I had it as a kid, and it's uh, super fun. And it's in, like I said, it's in, great, it's in good shape, man. You know, a little bit of wear and tear, but nothing crazy. Um, I, I needed it. I wanted it. I was hoping I was going to get in a, in a subscription box. Never did. But that's okay. That's okay. All right, so um, let's move to, let's see here. We'll go to, we'll go to, let's go Sega. Um, so I did pick up a good bit of Sega games this month, to be honest with you. Um, we'll go with, hold on, I'm trying to arrange this here. Uh, so this is one of the new systems I did pick up this month. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. It was a complete train wreck. I thought I could fix it. Uh, I guess I'm not as good as I thought it would, but that's okay. So I'm still on the lookout for, uh, for it. Uh, working and that is the Sega Game Gear. Um, I had this as a kid. Well, actually, I didn't have it as a kid, but I always wanted it as a kid. Um, and uh, but I got some really great deal on some games. Uh, so we got Sonic Drift Two. We got oh, these cases. Some good old Earthworm Jim. These ones I found at the flea market. NBA Jam. and uh x-men so i found these all at the flea market but i bought a really cool bundle um off of makari it came with a, a game gear um it's a little beat up you know this thing it's old so what do you expect uh again i uh I, I, the game gear doesn't work too well so um but i did get some great games in it so i got batman returns columns This is actually worth a lot of money, and I didn't know that. Uh, Fatal Fury Special. Um, I, I loved Fatal Fury back in the day, and like I didn't realize this actually had like some value. I think it's like like, like 30 bucks or something like that. It's crazy. Uh, I need to put it in one of the cases um, for sure. So Sonic 1. It's like a standard. Everybody has to have, have that. Sonic 2 and Tails. Another one, standard one. And then another standard, as always, Sonic Chaos. So it went Sonic Heavy. Um, but yeah, I mean, some great games. Really, uh, really, really great games I picked up for Game Gear this month. And I'm hoping that I can get... Um, I'll clean up later. I'm hoping I can get a working Game Gear. I have a McWills screen for it. And that's what I was going to try to fix it on that one. It didn't work out too well. Uh, so, you know, 
it's a uh, it's great. It is what it is though. Um, so yeah, let's uh, stick with the Sega theme. And there's Nami. She's excited. Nami, what do we get also for Sega this month, huh? She doesn't care. She only cares about my drink. Uh, so for Genesis, I picked some some stuff up here. F17 Nightstorm. I picked up. Um, pretty good. I mean, it's a great game. I get it as part of a bundle, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I did get some pretty cool stuff. Uh, complete and box. Well, kind of complete. Some complete and box. Some not. Uh, first one was Awesome Possum, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it is a box, but it is not complete, but it's still a good deal. Uh, I get a good deal on it, so I couldn't, couldn't complain. Uh, it's dirty. I need to clean it. I'm a horrible person. Um, I also got uh, Where in the World is Where in Time is Carmen San Diego. I used to play Carmen San Diego as a kid. This is complete with everything. Um, I, used to, I used to play like Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Whenever I was a kid, like back in the day in computer class, when it's still run off of, I know I'm going to date myself here big floppy disks oh my god it was horrible um picked up another one of my all-time favorite sega genesis games and that is uh, maximum carnage this is one of my all-time favorites it is not a red cart which sucks and it is not complete but that's okay overall it's still an incredible game it's one of my favorites uh up there of all time so it's still i got a good deal on it and then uh last but not least uh this is one of my all-time favorites i had it as a kid Luckily, I didn't pay a ton of money for this, but uh, it values for like 120 bucks, uh, which is crazy for a Sega Genesis game. Um, but that is Mutant League Hockey. Oh, my. Um, it's in okay shape. It's not like the greatest, um, but it's still in, in okay shape. It is 100% complete, um, which is pretty badass. Um, like I said, I had this game as a kid and love it. I have Mutant League Football already, so I have both of them. Um, and yeah, this is the, the bigger, like the heavier hitter one. So uh, this is a great pickup, fantastic pickup. So that's it for Sega Genesis. Um, yeah, that's it for Sega. So uh, let's move along. Let's go. Let's go. Single another thing that I only bought one thing for, um, and that is Star Wars Rebel Assault for the 3DO. As you guys know, a couple months ago I picked up a 3DO, um, and it's just man, these games get hard to find or they're super expensive. Uh, I did this is just disc, um, but I did get a good deal on it. And it's Star Wars. I love Star Wars with all my heart. Uh, so, you know, it's a good game, man. It is what it is. I like it. <laughs> it's not too bad. So, you're going to make some more room here. You can put this with the Sega stuff. Um, let's get into some GameCube. Uh, yeah, let's get into some GameCube. Uh, I did go, didn't go nuts with GameCube, but I did pick up some heavy hitters this month uh, in GameCube. Uh, I'll start with this, this, the lower one. Um, and that is uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Uh, I did pick this up. I got a good deal on it. Um, it is complete. All of them actually are pretty, are complete in great shape. Um, like I said, it's, it's in good, it's good shape. I need to get the GBA and the, the Game Boy plug-in, but that's okay. It was, uh, it's still, like I said, a good deal. And it's a good add addition to the, to the collection. I also picked up, um, complete, uh, Wave Race Blue Storm. I love Wave Race for the original N64. One of my favorite, excuse me, games on the system. Man, I get the hiccups. Sorry, guys. Um, man, I'm a mess. This is complete as well and in great shape. Um, I got a great deal on this, actually. Um, so that was exciting. Uh, next two games are, you know, pretty great. Um, I never played this game until I literally just bought it. Uh, I got this at the flea market, and that is uh, Zelda Wind Waker. This is also complete and in great shape. Um, you know, everything's official on it. The front of the case isn't, you know, it's a little fucked up here, but it's still not bad. Uh, I never played this until recently, actually. I, I got a uh, a uh, one of the Eon HDMI thing plugins for the for my uh, for my N64 and my GameCube, and uh, this looks great in HDMI, absolutely fantastic. And last but not least, uh, this is, I've always wanted this as a kid. I found it online, got a great deal on it, and that is Super Mario Strikers. Um, I love some football, yes, football. Uh, um, <laughs> But I do love some soccer or football, as you want to call it. This is also complete. Um, there's no, usually this is like all kind of ripped up because it's that kind of game. Um, but it doesn't. It's in great shape. I got a great deal on this. And this is a fantastic addition to my uh, GameCube collection. So I'm super excited about that. Um, let's get into some NES. Yeah, I picked up some NES this month, um, which is pretty exciting. Um, all of these I did get at the flea market, so I'm pretty excited. Um, first things first. One of my all-time favorites. Had it as a kid. 
And like it just I started playing it, brought back actually all these games I had as a kid, uh, and I brought back they started playing them and brought back a ton of memories. And um, I didn't pay more than like four or five bucks each of these, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, but first things first, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Um, it's in really good shape. It really is. Uh, you know, little nicks here and there, um, but it's it's in it's in pretty good shape. You know, it's a great game, a fantastic fantastic game. Uh, another one, Spy Hunter. I have one another classic, uh, in great shape. I did clean these up a little bit. Uh, they were they were like dirty, but I cleaned them up because I found them in a bin. But this is a fantastic game. I could I could never get past like I think it was a boat stage. Uh, just so hard. Um, pretty big heavy hitter. Mike Tyson's uh, Punch Out. Um, this is like I think it's like twenty bucks or something like that or something twenty three bucks or something now. Um, I could always get to Tyson, and I could never beat him. Um, even in the arcade, I remember this playing in the arcade back in the day. Um, I said, "This is in great shape too." Uh, I could never get, I could never beat Tyson. He always beat my ass. What do you want? Um, this has a, this next game has a little bit of wear and tear. I couldn't clean it up and get it really good. It needs a full rest though. But Adventures of Viability, it's not the greatest game. Uh, but I had it as a kid, and it just brings back so much memories, man. I remember opening this up in Christmas. We're like, "Holy crap, this is awesome!" Um, like I said the back is actually better than the front. Um, but, I mean, it plays, and honestly, it's all I care about. It, it works. Um, another one that brings back, and it's not like not in crazy great condition, but it's okay. And that's our Russian attack. I had this, again, this is a side-scroller. Um, it's in great shape. Like, it really is. Other than, like, the fade and the cart, it, it, the you know, fronts and stuff are great. So, uh, this is another game I had as a child, like I said. Uh, a big one for me, Contra. You know, I had to pick up Contra. I get a good deal on this one as well. This is in pretty good shape. Um, you know, the label is great. And that's all I really care about. I love the Arnold and, uh, Sylvester Stallone here. I love it. And the alien kind of thing. Uh, super cool. Um, fell in love with this game as a kid. I wish it was in better shape and I'm still going to look for a better shape version of this, but that is TNC surf design. Um, I loved this game and I still do. This game has a special place in my heart. Um, I could never, ever be the surfing part of it. It was, like, impossible. I still can't. It's it's insane. Um, you know, there's some wear and tear. The label's not bad. Um, but like I said, I didn't pay much for it. And I was like, man, I need this. It just it brought back too many memories. Um, next is a game. These next two games I never played before uh, until I actually picked them up. Um, and uh, I'm happy I did. You know, it's, they're great games. Uh, Mega Man 2. Yeah, this is in fantastic, almost pristine uh, condition. I never played Mega Man 2 or 1. Uh, saw this sitting there. Like I said, didn't pay much and uh, got a great deal on it. So exciting to play. And then last but not least, uh, Iron Sword, which is in Warriors 2. Um, this again is another like, it's like a weird like RPG kind of game. Um, I liked the Fabio. And yes, that is actually supposed to be Fabio. Uh, fun fact. So I was like, yeah, I kind of need this just because it's cool. Uh, so yeah, those are my NES pickups. So yeah, I picked went a little nuts on NES this <laughs> this past month, um, but that's okay. I, I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, let's move on to uh, let's go to Sony. Yeah, we'll go. No, we'll stay with Nintendo. Let's stay with Nintendo. So I picked up. You guys know I love my Switch. Uh, I did pick up on clearance a really cool like Switch case, uh, Zelda eight bit kind of thing. Uh, I got it for like like four bucks at GameStop. So. I, was, I couldn't beat it. I needed one. So that's a quickie. Throw it out there. Um, but keeping on with the Switch, um, I know you. I know it's a retro channel, but I did go a little nuts uh, with the Switch. Um, first things first, I picked up, I can't remember if I had this last one, but I uh, Final Fantasy IX. This is a physical version. It is only released in Japan. Uh, I do import uh, for the Switch, uh, which is pretty cool. That's, I think all of these, yeah, all these are imports from Switch. Uh, I didn't buy any like regular games for the Switch, so. Uh, Final Fantasy IX, I missed this, uh, Shantae and the Seven Sirens, I missed this in with a limited run, uh, and I wanted it, and I like having physical versions of games, I don't like digital, um, but is all these games are full English, even though they may be in Japanese and stuff on the back, but all these games are full English, so I picked this up, fantastic platformer. Um, I also picked up what's called Food Girls, um, this is a... Uh, kind of story, like visual novel, RPG-ish kind of game. Um, it is in English, um, and it's like you, basically you run like a street, and all these people have like little, all the, the girls have kiosks and stuff like that that you have to do. Um, but I picked this up. I also picked up uh, <laughs> this one, you probably just saw it. Uh, 
This one was an impulse buy because my buddy was like, oh my god, JD, you need to buy this so we can play it together. And that is uh, Waifu Noni. Uncovered. Um, I'm not going to go crazy into it because it comes with, like, this is a special edition. And it comes with some things and some cards that I can't really show. And, um, yeah, so, like, it's a top-down shooter, actually. Um, and you, like, you shoot things and... Um, yeah, this is, uh, you can actually, yeah, it's, it's, um, there's, un- there's uncensored version. Yeah. So they'll just take that for what it's worth. So, uh, why from the cover? My last game that I picked up, uh, and imported this month, uh, this past month was, and I was so excited because I never got to play it. And, um, that is the good old drum game for the Nintendo switch. Um, I am so excited, so excited to play this, um, to go along. This is a double game. Uh, both the RPGs uh, with a cool insert. I wish they did more of this. Uh, oh, see, it's even in, it's actually in my Switch right now. Uh, but to go along with this, I also picked up because you can't have a drum game without a drum. I did pick up the drum uh, for the game. Let me move this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna end up busting stuff. Um, you can't have a drum game without the, without a drum. And uh, yo, know, I had to. I absolutely had to pick this up. So. Uh, it works fantastic, uh, and it, you can't get in the United States. I had to import it through PlayAsia, so uh, this, this is like seventy bucks. Um, but it's pretty cool. It works fantastic. Uh, it's a great peripheral, so I'm super, 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 super excited, excited to have this. Um, all right, so this is getting pretty long, so I'm gonna try to blow through this, the rest of this stuff. Uh, let's see here. We'll stick with. The la- we'll do these last thing. We'll do these first, and then we'll do the last one. So uh, I did pick up and got uh, this month. My friend of mine gave me one of the fat PS2s um, for free. Uh, it's a great friend of mine. He was like, dude, I got like five of them. You want one? I was like, of course. Uh, so I bought some PS2 stuff, some PS1 stuff. PS1 stuff, I did pick up three games um, on top of stuff I already had. Now, there's Cool Borders 3. I actually got it in, the, in a – and this is a complete and great shape. Um, I got this all part of a lot. Jet Moto 2, uh, I love this series, Jet Moto series. I had it as a kid. Same with the Cool Borders. I actually had all had these all. And Jet Moto, whoops, and Jet Moto 1, uh, which is also, like I said, a great game. Um, I had them as a kid. Uh, I had to get them again because, you know, it's backwards compatible. So, got to get those PS1 games. So, PS2, I picked up uh, Final Fantasy. This is one of my favorite Final Fantasies, to be honest with you. Um, it's complete. It's in great shape. Um, it's kind of, to me, it's a little underrated. I mean, it's... It's a great story. The battle system's great. I mean, it's it's a phenomenal phenomenal game. Uh, Mortal Kombat Armor, Armageddon. Geddon, sorry, uh, it is complete. My friend actually gave me this plus the the, the PS2, so I'm super excited about this. Uh, love me some Mortal Kombat. Red Faction. I had this as a child for the PS2. This is also complete in great shape. Um, another one, SSX, the original SSX. Fantastic shape. Um, it's a great snowboarding game. It really is. This is that whole. I miss that series. Uh, Smuggler's Run. I had this as well. Um, this is complete. All these are actually complete. Um, this is a fun, fun game as well. Twisted Metal Black, which is a great game, and uh, complete as well. This case isn't as great, but it's okay. And last but not least, some Tekken Five. I do love me some Tekken. I have Tekken Tag uh, for the PS2 already. Um, and I still had to get Tekken 5, so I got a great deal on all these, actually. Um, so last but not least, uh, the last thing I picked up, I, you know, I did, like I said, only, I only said I only got one new system, but I did, I got like three. I got the PS2 Game Gear as well as I got an incredible deal on a Nintendo 3DS XL, um, all this is in great shape. The first thing's first. It is the Zelda Collector's Edition. Sorry, there's cat hair on it. Um, I got... There's, like, no scratches. This thing is in immaculate condition. Uh, I have everything for it. Uh, I got to... Inc- honestly, guys, you'll see. I got this this and uh, what I'm about to show you all in a big lot. And I got an amazing, amazing deal on it. Uh, so let me set that aside. I think that thing's, like, 200 and some dollars alone. Um... So, all right, let's go. This is all, like I said, part of this deal. So, first things first, Majora's Mask 3D. This is 100% sealed uh, and not open, which is pretty dope. Also sealed, 
Kirby Planet Robot. Sealed, never opened. A little bit of a heavy hitter. Uh, Bravery second and second end layer. So this is a pretty big, uh, pretty big game. This is 100% sealed as well. Another completely sealed game, Bravery Default. Um, this is 100% sealed as well. I'm probably not going to open because like these two games are worth like some good money. So uh, there's 100% sealed. We've got Pokemon Moon. This is again uh -huh, completely sealed. <laughs> This guy was just like, hey, I need some money. Can you, do you want to buy this? I was like, yeah. Uh, I work with him, so I trust the dude. So. Um, the rest of the stuff is opened. Um, and yes, there is more of it. So uh, we have, hold on, let me put these together. Two Animal Crossing New Leafs. Um, both are complete. Um, you know, ugh, yeah, both are complete. Um, so it's pretty cool. I don't, I mean, I have an extra one. Um, I'm actually working on to do a mystery kind of box here soon, so it'll, it'll, it might go in there. Uh, Pokemon Moon Open, so which is pretty cool, so I don't have to open the one. Uh, it is also complete. Uh, all this stuff is complete. Mario and Luigi's Dream Team. Uh, ch uh, I can't even. Chibi Robo Zip Lash. Little Kingdom Hearts 3D. Fantastic game. Crosswords Plus, probably gonna give this away. Smash Bros. 3DS, pretty bad ass. Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Kirby's Triple Deluxe. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And last but not least, Super Mario Bros. 2. So yeah, I got all that, plus this, all in, all, in one lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, I get a phenomenal, and trust me, I get a phenomenal deal on it. Um, but other than that, guys, that's all I got this month. I know it's not, a, it's a ton, it's a ton. I told myself I wasn't going to go nuts, but I did. Um, either way, guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. In the comments down below, let me know what you've picked up this month, uh, in, in January. You know, it flew by, we're already in, in February. You know, let me know what you picked up. Uh, and uh, let me know what your favorite pickup from me, from my haul was that you uh, that you saw. Uh, but as always, thank you guys so much for, for watching. I really, truly do appreciate each and every one of you guys taking the time and the effort to stay through the video, especially these long ones. Um, but until next time, stay retro. See you guys later.